Hi, my name is Harvey, and I'm a cat. Now you may be asking yourself, if I truly am a cat, how is it that you're able to understand me? I mean, don't most cats just purr, and if you're really lucky, meow? Yes, it's true. To you, that is. Contrary to popular belief, cats are highly intelligent, and our language is so sophisticated that we can convey complex thoughts through the tiniest of inflections. With such a complex language, communication between a human person like yourself and a cat like me may seem impossible. Of course not! Everything is possible with science! This is it. My invention's complete. Finally I'll be able to talk with the human people. I'm sorry, Tuca. Is my lifelong ambition boring you? Not at all. I find this fascinating, just like I did with the last four devices that failed to do the same thing. Well, uh, this won't work, I'm sure. Really, Harvey? Why do you want to talk with the human people anyway? Are you kidding? First contact with a new species? This is every scientist's dream. All right, all right. Complete your dream. But we better play with the new ball of yarn later. You promised. Of course, of course. All right. Here goes... something. Is it supposed to sound like that? Run! Okay, so the first machine underperformed, but that didn't mean it was impossible. You must understand that the human brain is a tricky thing. You see, they need a brain three times larger to pull off a similar level of communication. For this reason, communications between the two species are difficult. Human people are strange creatures. We live in a clinic that seems solely devoted to humans taking in sick cats and making them better. It is a pretty great place. But why do they do this? What's in it for them? Why is it that- Wake up, Harvey! Oh, sorry. I take it your heart isn't in it? Not exactly. It's that blasted communications device. Ideally, it's not supposed to blow up. Give it a break. So what? The device failed. You'll get it the next time, for sure. Yes, I will, because next time, next time, I'm going to ask Patches for help. You're not serious. Why not? Patches is in charge of the clinic and has all the resources I need to make the device properly. She does not control the clinic. Dr. Sadik does. Patches is just power hungry and wants everybody to think she does. Are you kidding? Patches has been around longer than any of us. She has control over every cat and human person at this clinic. Wise? Ambitious, powerful, that's Patches. You mean smug, insatiable, power-mongering, and don't forget mean. Hmm. Mean? I prefer a little bit... evil. But, why should this silly little device amuse me in the least? Wouldn't you want to talk to the human people? You know, to, uh, control them better? Oh, please. I already control them. Observe. Yes, fetch. Fetch, Dr. Sedic. <laughs> Whew, I could do this all day. And who do you think you are? There's no way you're getting in looking like that. Please, I need help. I swallowed a toad and I think it wants back out. <coughs> oh, that's terrible. But yeah, there's no way you're getting in with a story like that. Okay, good care. 
here is Thank you. incompetent human. How dare you let him in? Anyway, about that communications device. Is there any way you can make it, say, a mind control device? Bye. <laughs>